Um, to do number one, you guys are going to have happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jeff. Happy birthday, dear Gordon. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Mwah. Um, all right, so now let's do some math problems, right? All right. What better way to celebrate birthday by doing a math problem with M behavior? It's a great thing. Um, so, uh, when looking at this problem, all right, uh, what they want us to do is they want us to find the M behavior. So we're going to find the M behavior, and let's just look at it first. Let's, uh, let's just kind of do what we're the general way, and then we'll write it mathematically. So what I notice is as this graph is going over to the right, so as I'm following it to the right, Alex, as I'm following it over to the right, you can see that the graph is rising, right? And the graph is just going to continue rising to the right. So what we could say for A is the graph rises right, or I'm sorry, um, rises to the right. Now, a more mathematical way we could say this as this is the x-axis, and this is what we call the f of x-axis, another thing we could write as x, as my points go towards infinity on the x-axis, where do my f of x points go towards? Positive infinity. So you could say as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. So as your x-coordinates approach infinity, your f of x-coordinates approach infinity. Then we look at, as we go to the left, we could say that my graph falls, right? It's now going down. So we could say the graph falls left. And you could say, or you could say, as my x coordinates now go to the left, right, my f of x coordinates go towards negative infinity. So we could say, as x approaches negative infinity, f of, f of x approaches negative infinity. All right. Um, so now the next thing we want to look at is determine if we have an odd or even degree. So by determining odd and even degrees is we need to look at this and determine the number of zeros. So here we look at our number of zeros and we have one zero. Well, one is a odd number, right? And remember we talked about odd and even functions. Odd and even function, if it's odd, it has to have an odd number of degrees, right? So therefore, if our, our zeros. So if we have one odd zero, we have to have an odd degree function, right? Good. And actually, what was C? And state the number of zeros. So we already kind of did this. Where's there only one zero, right? There's only one time that the graph crosses the x-axis. So we just have one zero. There we go. That's all I guess I'd do. Thank you for the birthday.